Hello and welcome folks yet again to Magnation Thunder Episode 4 I am your friendly neighborhood Andy man Bringing you the action this evening Like you guys I have no idea what I'm going to see Like I did not know Mr. Static Shock would be coming down to the ring or is it just Static now? I don't know how it goes in the new 52. But I used to watch him on the Kids WV as Static Shock. He got some pink ooze on him. And he's like a teenager. And he rides around on a trash can lid. You know, they had to fight the other teenagers who weren't as lucky as him to get powers that mm, didn't affect his looks. As some amorphous blobs were quite unfortunate. But Static Shock... Looking pretty good in this game. Looking pretty boss, if I do say so myself. But making his probably Thunder debut, because honestly, I can't remember. And speaking of can't remember, this episode brought to you by Laguitas, 12th of Never, 16, <laughs> 16 ounce beer. Mm. Ah, disgusting. But my friend left it here, so I'm drinking it anyway. His opponent! Coming down to the ring is Red Hood? No. This is someone I am not familiar with. Uh, is another one of those darts? Those darts have been running around causing all that havoc. Uh, you gonna tell me your name? Are you gonna tell me your name? Are you gonna tell me your name? No? Oh, there he is, Darth Revan. All right. Darth Revan, looking a little different in this iteration. But he made it through the portal, so good on you, sir. Maybe you can make some waves in the uh, probably Atom Weight division. Oh, no, he's going to have to go against his uh, his uh, cohort on the of the dark side. Um, so maybe he's going to go for the Solar Flare title, something to that effect. Maybe he's going to end up tag teaming. I don't know. Those darts have plans of their own, and we are not privy to them. I should have known it was a Star Wars character, or a Darth, or Sith Lord, since he's got the skirt going. That's uh, usually a telltale sign. And Static Shock makes his way out of the ring. As I am forced to talk over this probably copyrighted soundtrack, or theme song you're listening to right now. So I have to make with the Yak Yak. And Stack Shock taking a walk around the ring, warming up. Darth Revan tasting his sweet ass time. And it's annoying me. So, for this match, I'm going to have to go with Static Shock. Because, Darth Revan, you are pissing me off right now. All right, is it finally over? All right. That is what we like to see. Darth Revan, Static Shock, Magnation Thunder. Here we go. Take a drink. Oh! Starts him off with like a Famouser. Holy shit. And dropkick right to the side of the face. Static Shock is putting the pedal to the metal right away as he calls Darth Revan to his feet. Staggering. Oh! Oh my god, I thought he caught him. That was going to be a reversal. But Tilt a Whirl. Second rope, moonsaulting bulldog, something to that effect. If there's a more succinct way to put that, please comment down below. Speaking of comment down below, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for some more Magnation infotainment. Also, ring a little bell. Be our bell bros. Oh, double stomp to the face. Static shock. Not letting Darth Revan get a word in edgewise whatsoever. Darth Revan making his way back up. As I left my Pokemon Go running. Oops, sorry. Double XP. Gotta let it go. Oh, there we go. Finally. A little bit of offense there from Darth Revan. A static shock. Not letting up whatsoever. Oh, the flippy shit. Oh, the flippy shit. Go to the outside. Let me say it. Let me say it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Springboard! Got him! Oh, wow. What is going on right here? Using the power of static levitation to 
maneuver about the ring, taunting his opponent. Oh my God, a knee into a neck breaker. Static shock, you gotta, are you gonna slow, I hope he's not gonna slow it down. He's gonna use out all his energy. He goes for a giant swing. Darth Revan be damned. Stomp to the midsection. Whoa, kicks up and the head scissors takedown. Darth Revan starting to chain some moves together. What's he gonna do? Take a sip, thank you. Punch the side of the face. Ah, there you go, Static. Take him down. Mm, he's talking about the ring. Going back to the outside. Give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. Come on. Darth Reverend getting to his feet. A springboard! Oh, misses the drop kick. Boo. But he is back at it. Flipping over. Oh, my God. Not knowing what to call that. Going to the outside again. Give me another one. Give it to me. One more time. One more time, Static Shot. Give it to me. Springboard. Got him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, tell, oh, do not tell me that he's here for Darth Revan. Because that just wouldn't be right. A member of the New Day coming down and cheering on a Sith Lord. I will not have that, sir. But... One... Two, that is it. Oh, he was here so, uh, for Darth Revan. Well, fuck you, New Day, because motherfucking Static Shock kicked the holy living crap out of your boy, Darth Revan. Hardly getting a move in edgewise is the Sith Lord. Not the strongest of showings for Darth Revan, but one of a showing for Static Shock ending his opponent relatively slow, relatively quickly. I think that match was shorter than Darth Revan's entrance. And that's saying something, sir. Moving on. Triple threat. Oh, Jesus Christ. Looks like Eli Manning, Cobra Commander, and oh, that is a gorgeous scorpion. Oh, that's a good-looking Scorpion. I hope he's good in this. Making his triumphant return to the Magnation, former tag team champion, a Scorpion. I vaguely remember him um, being on a roll as we left 2K14. He just has not made it through the portal, or at least didn't make it through the portal very well in the previous iterations of this game. But making his way down to the ring is the Cobra Coman himself, Cobra Commander. Now, I was at work all day. Do I want to do the impression of Cobra Commander? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do it. Uh, but it's got to come out organically, because I'm trying to force it right now. It's just not coming. That's what she said. But we soldier on as Cobra Commander in his Sunday best <laughs> into a spotlight, making his way into the ring. Look at that crowd. Just soak it up. Soak it up, Cobra Commander. Yes, you made Trevor watch Roseanne. Yes, you did. You are the Roseanne champion. If there was a best of the rest belt that was still vacant, I would call it the Roseanne Championship and give it to you. <laughs> yes, you regal bastard. It is all yours. So who we got next? Enough of you. I'm done. There we go. Shawn Michaels, a popular, uh, popular shirt out there in the audience tonight. Oh, and here comes fan favorite Scorpion down to the ring. Former tag team champion, as I said before. And I'm pretty sure he made one hell of a run in the GE tournament. Or some or one of those uh, giant tournaments. Which I do miss. I do miss those tournaments. So hopefully we get to see one of those one day. I love those giant tournaments that we uh, we all get to like as as a viewer and a commentator, we get to interact with you the fans in that challenge. 
website, and it was like a 60-40 tournament. I actually won. I came in like ninth or 10th place in the last one that they did. And I was supposed to have The Tick come back, or at least make a debut in a match or something like that. But that never happened. But I digress. This is two-time Super Bowl champion, Eli Man. Yes, it is. Oh, hello, Pyro. Since he is, uh, since his New York Giants are shitting the bed this season and basically sucking for Sam, as it were, he has decided to make his way back to the Magnation, moonlighting, if you would here on Thunder, seeing, you know, testing the waters, seeing if he can, uh, still, still hack it in the Magnation. He had a few wins under his belt, probably not many, but that remains to be seen, Mr. Magnitude, because I cannot wait till those are done. I will be all over those statistics. Like, I'd be, I'm gonna be freaking stat boy. Like, you don't even know. You don't, you don't, no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I gotta keep talking over the Monday Night Football. Oh, there we go. Come, Commander. Scorpion. Eli Manning. Are you ready? Megan. And there he goes. Directly to the outside. Eli Manning. Scrambling away without his offensive line. He now he's taunting. Yeah, you might want to get in there. Oh, the triple threat. Oh! Giant springboard moonsault! That was amazing. And oh an Alabama slime from Scorpion. Holy shit, man on fire right now. Get it? Cause he's from hell? Yes. Going over the top rope is Scorpion. Eli Manning taking Cobra Commander. Throwing him in against the ropes. Big, nice little Falcon Arrow-ish maneuver right there. Scorpion getting in the way of Manning's cleat as he stomps the elbow of Cobra Commander. Now Eli going to the outside. Calling for something, but Scorpion will have none of that. Totally forgot about your other opponent in the ring there, Mr. Eli Manning. As Scorpion makes his way back in. On the apron, running around like a lunatic. And your potential targets have left you. Now what are you going to do? Back in the ring he goes. Both the other members looking at Scorpion. And nothing going on. Nothing to speak of. Ooh, a reverse DDT from Eli Manning. Uh oh, goes for a hip toss. There it is. Gets him over. Scorpion making his way to the outside. As if he's really hard. Oh, that's got to hurt. Helmet to jaw. Oh. Okay. Tilt to world cradle? Kind of? Oh, wrenching that arm. I'm trying to pull that helmet off of Cobra Commander. And Scorpion gets in there. So it is not an elimination. It is a triple threat match. First pinfall or submission wins. Because apparently there is no count out. Because our referee, Raditz, if you want to say, I'm looking for a new referee this year, I'm sorry, is not paying attention to the man on the outside. One, a two, oh, only a two count. Making his way back into the ring is Cobra Commander. And a nice little scoop. Oh, nose reversed into a DDT by Scorpion. Eli Manning makes his way back to his feet. Scorpion kicking. The back of Cobra Commander. Eli Manning reverses Scorpion. Scorpion reverses Eli Manning. Into a headlock. Where are you going with him, Scorpion? Oh! A Superman knee off the second rope. Shades of that guy from the UFC. Uh, Petrus? Anthony Petrus? He did that Superman kick off the cage. Oh, that was fucking amazing. If you don't know that, look that shit up. He beat Benson Henderson. Suplex. On Eli Man. Cobra Commander. Looking for a pin. That's not going to be enough, sir. 
Yeah, that's only a one count. Scorpion, get in there and do some damage. These guys are just pussyfooting around in there right now. Not even putting on a show for our fans. You, the fans. Makes his way back into the ring. Goes right after Cobra Commander. Need, <coughs> need the head. Losing my voice. Sorry, guys. Another DDT. Have to go lower octave. So to save my voice. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. One. Only one count. Goes to pick up Eli Manning, but he reverses it. No, oh, reverse. And Scorpion gets reversed yet again. What the hell is going on right now? The technical wrestling that is in the ring right now. That totally missed everybody. That was just that was a horrible cover command. Sorry. Whoa. Twist of fate? Something to that effect? Going for the pin. One. Two. Three. There it is. He's some quick ass matches right now, boy. Wow. Scorpion making a mark on Magnation Thunder. Good for you, Scorpion. Good for you. Again, the entrance is longer. Oh, that was nice. The entrance is longer than the match itself. And Scorpion's opponent's putting very little effort in on this match. But what are you gonna do? Eli Manning just had a just had a game yesterday, because this is Monday as I record this. That is the finisher right there. We'll call it the get over here from Scorpion. That is the pinfall right there. Good for you, Mr. Scorpion. Welcome back. You look fucking amazing. You look amazing. So you rebel, sir. You rebel. Because I hope we see you in future episodes. <laughs> oh! We have the return of the Blue Ranger taking on one Skeletor. <laughs> Skeletor. Yeah, so you guys get that one. But I don't know if there's going to be anything else. Unless he really just dominates Billy. And I'm just going to rank on him as Skeletor. Calling that right now. But making their way. To the ring first, from Milan, Italy. The fashion capital of the world. Sorry, Paris, France. Fuck you. It's Skeletor! I'll get you next time, He-Man! Alright, I'm done. That's the end of that chapter. Skeletor at Eternia. That's a pretty generic, uh pretty generic Twitter handle there. You know, I think it would be like at, at Castle Grayskull or at Skullface or at Blue Man Chew. I don't know. I'm not good on the spot. Like I said, I work for 10 hours and I'm going to take another swig of beer. <sighs> Crisp and unsatisfying. Not a uh, fan, sir. Not a uh, 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 fan. Uh, Morty. All right. Now, the return. Making his way through the portal. Fresh off his debut on the big screen is the Blue Ranger. Making his way down to the ring as I get a text messages from. Oh. Nope. It's not Magnitude. Don't care. Sorry. Fresh off his theatrical debut this past summer. The Blue Ranger. I'm guessing that's how they look in the movie because he's looking a little uh, grid D. As in there's a lot of lines and he's kind of like a column in Excel but he is 
ready nonetheless to take on his challenger, one Skeletor. Oh. Uh, Excuse me. Crucifix there from Billy. I hope it's Billy. That was another submission move right away, trying to break Skeletor in half. Oh my god, give up right now. That'd be so boss. Billy, break him in two. No, reversed into a pin. That's new. Never seen that before. Billy goes for pump handle overhead suplex. Picking up Skeletor yet again, but not this time. Judo flip from Skeletor. Drags Billy to the center of the ring for a big boy elbow. Gets reversed by a big back body drop from Mr. Billy himself. Trying to rake that arm out of its socket, but Skeletor will have none of it. Oh, knee in the face. Oh, misses with that kick. And Billy bitch slaps the fuck out of Skeletor. Holy crap. Nice snap suplex there. Probably wasn't a snap suplex, but it's a suplex nonetheless. Kick to the small of the back. Another kick to the small of the back. Focusing on the lumbar region is Billy, the Blue Ranger. A few striking punches and a kick from Skeletor. Trying to get him down. There we go. Now slowing things down. Wrenching on that neck, but Billy breaking out of it. Tossing Skeletor off the ropes. Oh, okay. Missed what happened there. Fireman's carry. Billy regaining his composure. Tossing his opponent over the top rope. Oh, speared to the outside. Watch out now. Billy standing on the apron. Beckoning his opponent to his feet. Oh, diving Superman punch off the apron. Oh my goodness gracious, if this goes the way the last two uh, the last two matches went, it looks like we have a clear-cut winner in Billy right here. Oh, stomping that bread basket. Uh, count of two-ish, maybe three. Can't really see what's going on with him. That's why right, you can all sit back down, not a problem. No one's going to get hurt here. Suplex. Onto that concrete. Billy tosses Skeletor, who doesn't make it all the way to the apron, back into the ring now. You gotta put him away right now, Billy. Oh, getting reversed. That's not gonna be enough, sir. The momentum is not in your favor. You gotta put in some work. Because Billy is a man possessed right now. Not as possessed as Static Shock, because damn, that was one hell of a performance. But Skeletor giving up quite the technical advantage to Billy right now, as Billy just chaining moves together and not letting Skeletor get a move in edgewise as he reverses. That, folks, is a snap suplex. Yes, it is. Yeah, you you don't deserve to taunt like that right now, Skeletor. You are not doing well. You are barely holding your own. But you are holding your own more than the last two matches, so good for you. To the outside. What the hell's going on here? Oh! Dropkick off the second rope as his opponent falls to the concrete. Billy making his way down. Ooh, jawbreaker. Flying forearm, a forearm chiva, as it were, a forearm chiva, stopping the chest of Billy. This is his biggest offensive spurt yet. No, nope. and he gets reversed. And does a reverse of a little zone. Zuber, zuber, zuber. Yeah, I did. I slurred a little bit as I take another group. <sighs> Gotta get through it, folks. Gotta get through it. Spinning back kick. Going for another pump handle slam there. Nice. Call it the Billy Buster. Nah. Billy, double underarm 
Whoa, into a, a submission? What? Is that gonna be all? He's gonna wrench that arm out of its sock if you don't give up. No, he will not submit. Skeletor has some life left. Misses that spinning back fist. No, gets him to a knee lock, wow. Now that was some technical wrestling right there. Billy, you're right by the ropes. Might want to grab him, but no need as he pushes off his inferior opponent. Billy looking kind of big and buff. Uh, no more an atom weight, I don't think. Stomping that shoulder. Maybe next time he'll get that submission. Shoulder block to the ground. You stop taunting. You have no right to taunt right now, sir. No right. There you go. And that's what happens when you give Billy a chance to grab his breath. Or catch his breath, whatever the case may be. That's not gonna be enough, Billy. One, two, th yeah, thank you. If that was three, I would have been kind of peeved, honestly. Kick to the small of the back. Makes his way back to his feet. Grabs Billy from behind. Oh no! Is that gonna be all? One, two, boo! That was awful. Billy, you are a glass cannon. Not even a glass cannon, because glass cannons at least do some damage, and you know they would they would win. But d damn it, bro! Like, damn it! That was maybe three or four maneuvers from Mr. Skeletor. And uh, did you take a dive, Billy? Did somebody pay you to go down? This. Is unacceptable, Billy. Welcome back, but you just got fucked right there. Jesus Christ. One, two, the three. That is Skeletor for you folks. Good on ya. Moving on. Bring back the Supremacy. Or the Unwashed. I think it was the Supremacy. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. But we got Birder and Quan Cheadle's former Solar Flare champion versus the bestest being in the universe. One giant blue Birder as I take a sip from my La Guintas. Oy. This is shaping up to be your main event of the evening. From Anaheim, California. Making his way to the ring. Birder, the fastest entity in the universe. And he is quite amped. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's like a seven foot, ridiculously fast ultimate warrior right now. Yes, you are crazy. Yes, we get this. Oh, wow. That's the end of that entrance? Good for you. It didn't take 20 minutes. Thank the friggin' Lord. But now, making his way to the arena, the former Solar Flare champion, Quan Cheadles. And he looks pretty boss. Especially with this entrance, he definitely, he rocks this entrance pretty well. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to sit through it for about two and a half minutes, but eh, it's all right. So Quan Cheadles and Birder making probably their second appearance here with Magnation Thunder. Pretty sure they faced off in other matches previous to this one but okay blow it out yes can you tell I'm filling can you tell this is filler can you get the fuck off your chair you old man it's not a porch you are not porch dick shout out the talking dead also if you watch the recent episode of the walking dead episode 
six, I believe it was. Don't watch The Talking Dead afterwards because it pretty much spoils the rest of the season, which is horrible. Horrible. Still steaming over that. Sorry. We digress. Back to Verder, Fetch's Entity in the Universe, versus Quan, the Cheetles. Wow. Towering over Quan Cheetles is Birder. The big DDT. And I'm glad that, you know, at least it broke the whoever comes out firing first is going to win trend we had today. Oh, springboard, missile, dropkick. He is like an eight-foot giant alien jumping off this third rope, reaching halfway across the fucking ring to dropkick you in the face, which is pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Uh-oh, what are you doing over there, Quan Cheetles? Exposing that turnbuckle. A birder. Big neckbreaker. Jumping neckbreaker we'll go with. It wrenches that head. Gonna tear it off as that skull looks like a softball on his hand. Yeah, you're gonna tear his freaking head off. If he wasn't an undead necromancer, I'd be worried that you would kill him. Quan Cheetle's breaking out of it, though. Yet to use that exposed turnbuckle. We'll see if that makes a difference. One stun gun or snake eyes to that exposed turnbuckle, and it is game over. Game over. Ooh. Jumping bulldog. Take a drink. I think I will. Got to keep those pipes fresh, guys. Because I know you just love the sound of my voice as I dictate every movement that goes on in the match, just like John Madden. Yeah. Going to the top rope. He didn't even have to get up there. Oh, my God. Oh, he must be 13 feet in the air. Jesus Christ. Birder taking a little bit of damage himself, but that... Superplex off the top rope will do more damage to Mr. Quan Cheetles. One, two, uh, uh, only a two count. Uh, 40. And that's the way the news goes, as it were. Jumping DDT. Trying to get some offense against our man Birder. And that's not going to be enough. Birder makes his way back to his feet. Almost took Quan Cheetles from behind. And now he does. Kick to the back of the leg. And a giant overhead belly-to-back suplex as Birder is calling Quan Cheetles to his feet. <laughs> but apparently he's taking too long. So he'll just do it his damn self. Oh, God. Knee to the temple from Birder. You going to beckon him up again? No. Nope. Nah, Quan Cheadle's just looking like a, a shell of his former self. Uh, okay. Yeah, you, like I said, you don't get to taunt. You're not doing much. Get up, Birder. What are you crawling? He's barely done anything to you. No. No, don't end this. Thank you. That cannot end. No, don't just stand there, you son of a bitch. Oh, you... T yeah, there we go. Into a face buster. Thank you, Birder. Thank you. In case you don't know who I have in this match, it's probably going to be Birder. Another running knee to the side of the temple from Birder. Turns him over. Oh, nice little uh, drop toe hold there. That is a reversal from Quanchitos. If that does him in, no way. Get the f out of here, bro. Come on. Stomps to Birder. Further stomps. Dropping that elbow. Juan Cheadles. Is he going to pull out a huge maneuver that just ends the match randomly? Birder will have none of it. Oh, sidewalk backbreaker. That is right. Beckett him to his feet. Meet your doom, Juan Cheadles. Go! Oh, double knees to the face. That's got to be it. Go for that pin. One. Two, three, and don't that beat all. 
folks. Burger Joy at Quan Cheadles. Wow. Quite the domination from Burger. Quite the domination from all our opponents. Uh, from all our winners this match. Except for Skeletor, who paid off Billy to take a to take a dive. Or something to that effect. Yeah, that's a great replay there, bro. Ah, oh, perfect replay. No, oh, that one too. That one just did so much damage. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? You know, we don't even get Kimbo Slice's ghost here on Team N Thunder. But we soldier on. And we give you the best entertainment we could give you. So that's going to be it for me, folks. Make sure you like, and comment, and subscribe for some more Magnation Entertainment. Late.